Hey, what is up, everybody? We are back with another video. It's raining, but it's supposed to stop. What's up, Zach? You about to play? Yeah, I know. This rain is making everything miserable. I might just do nine if you're trying to play the top. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we are um, here at Raven Rock Golf Course. Gonna just do nine. Like I said, this hurricane has been making things difficult on a lot of people, but um, this this is rough. It wasn't raining before I got here. Let me just say that. What time will be good for you then? Uh, I'll hit you up then. All right, I'll play that. Thanks, fellas. All right, so I don't have a distance, sadly, but. Oh, man. Got the 56 degree out again. When I first started, I just got to remember to stay down the entire time. <clears throat> Something like that. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. That's right where you want to be. And Julian, if you're watching, I got me a microfiber to not only clean off the ball, um, but also clean the camera up when it gets wet. But, yeah, shout out to you. He always has a microfiber handy. So I'm going to start carrying one around, especially for weather like this. You can make it up. You can make bad golf look a little less bad with your short game. So that was a nice shot on the green. Let's see if we can sink this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll take a bogey to start off. So that is gimme range, but I know how y'all gonna get in the comments. On to hole 11 here at Raven Rock. But how has everyone been with the hurricane? Um, let me know. This Hurricane Helene has been putting a number on some people close by in Tennessee area, Florida, the south, all of the south basically. So let me know how you guys are feeling. Has the flood really affected your golf course, um, affected your home, most importantly. Just let me know in the comments we are. Um, you know, we're thinking about you guys. So, hole 11, part three. But um, the pin is kind of to the right-hand side. Got the seven iron out. I typically always um, draw this thing. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to grip down just slightly. Something nice and easy, nice and smooth. <sighs> yeah, I'm telling you what, that this seven iron's been pretty legit lately. From the T box, it looked like I was a lot closer. Well, let's just get this, knock this one close. It's gonna break. Man, they're playing super slow. Jeez, Louise. Oh my goodness. So don't roast me in the comments when you're like, why are you playing so fast? People behind me. All right, so hole 12, par five. Remember last time I parred this hole, last time I played it, but hopefully I could do it again. That would be pretty cool. I was a, took an aggressive driver swing right over these trees. Just like that. That was kind of high. So hopefully it's on the edge. Kind of high, but it had some distance to it. I did find it on the side here, but I moved it over because it was near the cart path. So I'm going to play it. So I'm going to play it. I got the five out. Nice and simple swing. And it always draws. Hopefully it didn't draw too much. That looked pretty good though. So we're 170 out. I got a six iron. If I could just swing this the same way I could do swing my seven, I'll be in good shape. Popped up, but it's going straight. 
Man, that's bad. And finally was able to tie down Chance Taylor. A lot of people around here know him. Um, we're going we're to be playing a match here soon at Raven Rock. And he's, it won't be, be a challenge for him. So I'm going to steal the concept that uh, Grant Horvat is doing. But I'm going I'm to start like 10 under. Grant is playing with pros and starting 5 under. But I'm going to go ahead and start 10 under and just see. If I could even hold a candle to this guy, because he's a beast. Yo. Right. 71 yards out. I'm going to do a choke down 56 degree. Just like that. I tell you what, this wedge, I don't know what it is today, but it's working. All right, so I definitely flew that pin. Um, but to me, anything on the green is a win. If I could hit it on the green. So we're still pretty far out. But let's just give this get this one close. Go in. Yeah, they're playing slow. It dies instantly. But let's try to sink this putt. I think this will be for par or bogey. I gotta count. Let's make a putt. Go in. Man, it's okay. My goodness. Yeah, the putting is going to be my downfall today. And if you guys noticed, I didn't make a goal or set a goal just to relieve some pressure off myself when I play. So this could either be the best round, best nine holes, or the worst nine holes I've ever played. All right, I finally caught up with people. They're on the green. Thought the top nine was going to be a lot more empty because of the rain, but... Hole 13, par 4. Let's pipe this one straight down the middle. That's so good. Alright, so we're 112 out still. My last couple shots from like 115 in have been pure. So let's see if I could replicate it. Oh, just like that. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's because of the softer grass, but or softer fairway because of all of the rain and stuff, but man, those it's pure. It's looking good too. Alright, let's see if we could par this one. I'm gonna get it close here. Nice layup. Or lag putt. And go for the par. That's all. I'm not looking for the birdie right now. Yeah, they're playing slow. I gotta make that. I gotta. Oh my goodness. Another bogus. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you one thing. Three putts. They have to stop. Like especially, especially if I'm three putting and now going from a par to a bogey. Gotta stop. One thing, I might need to come up out this hoodie. It's getting kind of warm. I thought it was going to be a lot cooler out. Well, right now it's still in like, I think it's 65 degrees. That's how good these hoodies are. My goodness. I don't care what nobody say. Swing your swing, people, because that's ugly. I'm not going to lie. I'm the first to admit it, but are you kidding me? All right, we're in a tough spot. They're still on the green, but it says we're 180 out. I got the 7-iron. 
out just to cover this ravine. I'm not going to try to go for the green. If I could just hit it pure in some nastiness right now. Yeah. That's over. It's over. So, man, I wish I could go for it, but I can't hit my five hybrid, the four hybrid, that good yet. Get it close. I will be super happy. Super happy, man. And I duff it. I didn't duff it. That was just a baby hit. Man. I was so scared to hit it too far. Man, this is going to be a tough putt. Tough putt. I could sink that. Man. Man. I'm fine with that. I'm so fine with that. Nice. Tough hole. My opinion. Hardest hole on the course. All right. One of my favorite holes at Raven Rock. Hole 15, par 4. You could get a hold of this one. You get pretty close. So let's just try to, something nice and easy. Just like that. Man, the ball striking today. I know the first couple holes, or the first couple driver swings were a little iffy. But that felt good. And let me know if you guys feel the same way, but I honestly like nine hole golf better than a full 18. I know for me, um, them full 18s can be a pain just because I get so tired, but nine holes if golf was just like 14 holes sheesh so like this we're 115 out but uh it's downhill and the last couple hits i've done with my 56 degree has been so pure i think it went about 115 so let's see See, that's me taking my eyes completely off of it. Jesus. That's bad. Oh, that's not enough. It's rolling, though. Like I said, it's downhill. So it's going to roll. Oh, it's on the hill. Now, this is what I meant to do. Oh, let's check. Come on, it's all right. But left myself a long one. <sighs> Come on. Come on. We're playing slow, so I gotta give a little bit more. Not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Gotta give it something, but not too much. That's the first part of the day. Hole 15 here at Raven Rock. All right, so that was the first par of the day. Um, hole 15 that came on. Wasn't pretty. <laughs> Wasn't pretty at all, but the putting has to just be there. I can't be missing putts. Can't be blowing past the hole, but also can't leave it so short that I'm three putting. So on to hole 16. 16, not a tough hole, I think. 15, 16, and, and 18 are pretty easy. 17, I only say it's hard because it's a par 3. And to me, par 3s are always a little bit more difficult. So you guys see the views. This is why I love Raven Rock Golf Course. Hopefully soon we could get some gear back into Raven Rock. My home course. Love this course. So if you guys play here at Raven Rock, ask for ugly swing gear in the pro shop. Hole 16. Par 4. Ah, oh, man. Duffed it.
All right, so we're 178 out. Got the five hybrid in hand. Nice and easy. Oh. My long irons need work. All right, another pure shot. I had to get a quick shot of the background and me swinging, so sorry about that. But we are right up here, right near the green. Again, it's going to be a tough chip for par, but I'll play for birdie. I mean, bogey. I wish it was birdie. Just like that. It goes in cool, but my goodness. Like that. Now, if we were playing together, you guys giving me that? I'm going to putt it just so I don't hear anybody. But come on. You guys not going to give me that? That's fine. Let's make a putt. My theory on give me, like in the beginning, I wouldn't give no one to give me. Unless we're like just, you know, unless you're really my boy. But I got to see you make a couple. Like that. that distance is... I'm not going to speak too soon, but it's kind of automatic for me. All right, hole number 17. It is a par three. And the distance, let me update my range finder, 163. All right, so iPhone strikes again. Ran out of storage. Bogeyed it, but like I said, I'm not, I would go back and redo the hole. But there's people back there. So sorry about that, you guys. Had to delete a bunch of videos. Didn't even know it was. Running out of storage. That's the thing with iPhone. It doesn't give you a warning. Like, please, iPhone, if you're listening, give us a warning before you just shut off the video. Like, tell us, hey, if you record again, it's going to only be two minutes worth of footage or a minute or 30 seconds. Don't just shut it off. But on to hole 18. All right, so just to end this hole off with a lot of confidence, playing from the red tees. I normally always play from the whites and I play on hole 18, but see if we could birdie it. If I'm playing this close, let's get a birdie. Hole 18, it's a par five. Oof. All right, got the four hybrid out. You guys know this thing always draws. Just try to hit it pure. That one actually went kind of straight. Five. Let's just try to get one close. Come on, get one close. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, yes. Okay, stop. I'm glad it's playing slow. Jeez, Louise, that would have been in Timbuktu if it was playing fast. But yeah, that wasn't the best strike, but we got a putt. If we can make this putt in with a birdie, that will be cool. That would be cool. But a par, like I always say, I'm fine with pars. I mean, birdies, but I'm also very fine with um, pars. And like I was saying, if I had to play this on a dry green, that ball will be pretty far out, um, but this is for birdie. I'm going to putt it. I usually get the chipper out. This is for birdie, people. We can end it off like this. And before I hit it, go get yourself something from theuglyswing.com if I make this putt. Get yourself a logo hoodie or a bucket hat. Fall golf is upon us right now, people. Easy, 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 easy. It's okay. Let's make a putt. Ended off with a par. The goal was a birdie because I played this from the red, but let's do it. Again, 
Thank you for watching, everybody. Whew. Like I said, coming up is a round with Chance Taylor. Hopefully here soon. He's a busy man, but I'm going to try to do that. If you guys are enjoying the content, enjoying the videos, like, comment, and subscribe. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.